How y'all doing today? Y'all can hear me? All right. It's been a long road for you in college so far. What was it after what went down at ASU about CU that made Colorado the right place and right fit for you? It was kind of just the belief. They believed in me, believed in my situation, and I also believed in them and what they had going and what they had building. And it's just the whole culture, like it's a lot of underdogs, things of that sort. And it just was the right place to come in with a chip on our shoulder, every single person, and got something to prove. So, yeah. Hey, thanks for taking the time. Uh, we we're talking to Coach Prime a second ago, and he said that uh, one of the messages this week was the, the truth will set you free. And that's mm -hmm. kind of the mantra you guys are going, what is the truth and what will set you free? What, what was the meaning behind that? Man, the truth is the film. Like, the truth, the film don't lie. You know, we got things we can work on. I'm just happy that happened at the time it did. I was sad for a little bit. as you. That's why I took my hair out, as you can see. But, I mean, like, the film don't lie. It's clarity. You got to be able to be a man and accept what you're putting on film and go in and correct it day in and day out. Hi, Juwan. Adam Monster Tiger, 24-7 Sports. Mm -hmm. You didn't get here until late during camp. How were you able to pick up and grasp this defense as quickly as you did? What, what did that process look like for you? So it's also a blessing to me playing under so many staffs, things of that sort. You know, I, I really learned coverages. I really learned how schemes fit. Yeah, it may be different verbiage and things of that sort, but a strong hook is a strong hook. Uh, a weak hook is a weak hook. I just need to know where it fit in in the scheme and when we want to run it and what we try to stop. So that's pretty much been it. Juwan, <clears throat> excuse me, Pat Rooney, Boulder Daily Camera. Um, it's been a little up and down for the defense all season. Uh, a little bit of a rough outing, obviously, at Oregon. How have you guys gone about the business of, you know, trying to shake that off? Obviously, another huge challenge this week. Mm -hmm. Everybody waiting for us to respond. So we don't got time for a pity party, things of that sort. So we right back to work. Right back where we started. You know what I'm saying? Nobody expected us to be 3-0. People expect us to win. So we gave people what they wanted this game, man. It's time to get back to work and just focus on what's in the locker room. Uh, hey, John. Uh, good morning. Patrick Dodgers, Kobo Sports. Uh, yeah. After pretty big loss to a, a top 10 team. You know you're coming up against another big team the very next week. How do you stay focused and try not get too overwhelmed by the stature of the two teams that you've just played and the team you're gonna play? How does that not overwhelm you across a week of practice? It's college football. It's any given Saturday, anything can happen. You see USC play Arizona State, so they're vulnerable. And I'm sure Lincoln telling them boys they gotta step it up this week too. So it's pretty much who gonna come to work, be the most prepared day in and day out and leading up to Saturday. We can't just flip the switch. We got to prepare. Hi, Ryland Scholes, Ralphie Report. <clears throat> we saw that video yesterday of Coach Prime reading the text from Travis Hunter saying that he wanted to come back and he wasn't going to take no for an answer. Did that fire you guys up as a team, and do you feel extra motivated because of that? Oh yeah, definitely. Like we, like I said, we all in this together. Like I'm sure that loss hurt Travis just as much. Like him sitting at home, like even when he in the building, like he's just all in. Everybody's all in, and we're gonna take our we're gonna take our wounds and we're gonna take our wins the same way. Hey, Juwan, Troy Finnegan, C Sports Report. As you guys uh, look at the film that la from last week and turn your attention to another talented offense, what mm -hmm. is was there a single point of emphasis for you guys as a defense for something that you guys need to improve upon? After the game? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, everything. They out-executed us. They came out, out-executed us. It's not all on the coaches. We the ones playing. We get the call. Everybody got to be on the same page. We got to all be in the same spot. Everybody got to do their one eleventh and just – Play ball. That's it. it. They're just a logo. Like it's just you know it's just another team. So, Juwan Sean Keeler at the Denver Post. Uh, we asked Coach about this a little bit. I wanted to get your take as somebody who's played on the D and played in a few places. What what's impressed you about Cormani McLean as a true freshman coming in here, and and where does he have to also improve and get better? Where are things you like? Where are some things he can improve? That's funny. That was my roommate TCU game. I'm like, dang, they roommate with a freshman. But like, nah, he matured. Carmani matured. He know what he want in life. He gonna go get it. Yeah, he got things, you know, he gotta work on. We all do. But he real hungry. He come in every day ready to work. He long, real long. He could go play the ball, things of like that. Like, so he's special. You know, I, I expect coming back in the year to like him being one of those guys. So, for sure. Hey, Juwan. Brian from the Brian Howard from the Bowl of Daily Camera. Mm -hmm. I think you played against Colorado in the Alamo Bowl a couple years ago, right? <laughs> yeah. So I yeah. imagine at that point you <laughs> didn't think you would ever play for 
For Colorado. Nah, nah. What, what's the journey been like for you going through college football from Texas to Tennessee, Arizona State to here? It's been a blessing. It's been a blessing. You know, I kind of been dealt a crazy hand, but I won't let that define me. So my, soft, my first year at Texas, after that year, we had a whole different staff, offensively and defensively, going into my second year. Then after that year, Herman got fired, and they bought a Sarkeesian. So then that's when I went to Tennessee, did my two years there, graduated. So it's really been a blessing. Like, I've been a part of a culture that we're at Texas where it's everybody five stars, everybody legit, everybody this, everybody that. And then I went to a culture of Tennessee where it was like we was the underdogs. I came in with Coach Hype. So on paper, we wasn't those guys. We wasn't this. We wasn't that. So sneaking up on people, it made it fun. You know what I'm saying? So I've been able to be a part of both and kind of like take both of those and put them into one. Like I kind of know I'm that guy, but at the same time, I'm humble enough to know I got to work and prepare. I can't sleep on that other opponent, things of that sort. So it's kind of a blessing. Hey, Juju, Ryan Konigsberg from DNVR. Mm -hmm. Curious just what Coach Hart has meant to you during the transfer process all the way up till now. Everything, everything. Just so real. He a, he a, he a straightforward and back person. You ain't got to look to your right or left. He, what it is is what it is. He going to tell you what it is. It's nothing personal. He going to tell you what it is. He going to tell you you love you after that. You know what I'm saying? So just having a guy that played the game too. He played at Kansas State, played linebacker, so things of that sort. He just tell us. From our viewpoint, it's not always, it don't feel like a coach talking to you all the time. It's like, hey, like, I got long arms, so I may be able to do this, but he don't, he can't do that. So he's going to teach him a different way. So it's about taking your player and making him the best player he could be. And that's been big for me. Yeah, two more, go ahead, man. Juwan, when you look at how you guys stopped the run against Oregon, obviously, you know, some assignments, missed gaps. What was it on film that stuck out to you? And maybe what has stuck out to you maybe the first four weeks about your run defense specifically? Man, we just got to play together. Like I said, don't try to do too much. Create a run wall. Everybody play their gap. Keep their eyes in their gap <clears throat> and things of that sort. Yeah, we see the ball flow that way. We could flow. But for the most part, just play our gap, do our assignment, and plays will come your way. Plays will come your way. Hi, Juju. Ariel or Pseudo 9 News. Um, we've all seen Caleb Williams in this prolific offense, but what's something that stands out to you that maybe we haven't noticed? Like, what, is, what are you looking for this weekend? Oh, I'm looking for us to fly around the field. Same thing I'm always looking for. That, that creates less mistakes. Us playing 100%, 100 fast, you know what I'm saying? Things of that sort. Playing in, the back, playing in their backfield, things of that sort. I mean, everybody got athletes. Like I said, like, they're a school that get five stars, stuff like that. So you got to come in with your mind right. If you really know you that guy, you're going to play like that. And that's what we're trying to get to. You that guy? Definitely. Thank Definitely. you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank y'all. That's it for today.